Hello, welcome to uh, Intel One API for FPGA. In this video, we'll look at how to get started with uh, Intel Cordis Prime software and Intel One API base toolkit in Linux operating system. In this video, we'll go through how to install the Intel One API base toolkit and all of its dependencies. We'll see how to launch One API and how to run a code sample. If you're using a Windows operating system, please refer to a separate video we have on how to use One API on Windows. Here is a list of software dependency for One API for FPGA. First, you would need to install Cordis Prime Pro, which should include a version of Cordis Sim. Next, you will install the One API base toolkit. You will also need Visual Studio Code with the several extensions. Finally, you will need some build tools on Linux. They are CMake, PKG Config, and Build Essentials. To get quarters on Linux is similar to that on Windows. And you will see this download page. The first link from the top includes Quarters Prime software and Questa Sim for Intel FPGA. Subsequent links are device supports for specific FPGAs. To save disk space, you can choose to only download the smaller one for Cyclone 10GX. You will need to get a license for Siemens Questa from Intel FPGA Self-Service Licensing Center. You can choose to get a no-cost license or a paid license. On Linux, you can download and run an installer script directly from the terminal. You can choose an online installer or an offline installer. Following the installer, you'll be asked to select packages to install. Please select the following five packages at the minimum. Finally, install Visual Studio Code along with the following extensions. For this demo, we'll be using Ubuntu distro on WSL2. Other supported distribution of Linux should work similarly. I have already have the One API code sample extension installed. I can now download and open the code sample from within VS Code. Let's navigate to the FPGA compile code sample. Click on this uh, first icon next to the code sample name, and VS Code will ask you for an, a directory to download this code sample to. A new VS Code window will open with the code sample. Here we can see from the source code that this is a simple vector addition example design. Now let's try compile this design. But we have a problem. The One API compiler ICPX is not recognized here. This is because we need to initialize the compile environment first. To do so, first you will need to remember the installation directory for the One API base toolkit. Then you should source the script in there named setvars.sh. Now we can invoke the compiler. But for this code sample, we will build using CMake. First, we'll be using CMake to make build artifacts. Let's build targeting the emulator. An executable is generated for emulation. There, the emulation runs correctly. 